master distiller and head of operations for Jose Cuervo, the oldest tequila company in the world. I'm working every day to have the best quality tequilas and really focusing on how to be friendlier with the environment on a daily basis. Our raw material, which is Azul Tequila and Weber, comes from the fields. The three main components of the agave would be carbohydrates, fiber, and moisture. So the name of the game here is to extract those carbohydrates, convert them into fermentable sugars, and come up with tequila. The fiber from the agave azul, it's a really strong fiber. We've done projects with Ford Motor Company to eliminate plastic on their dashboards and on their cars with agave fiber. Fabrics, plates, cups, paper, bricks as part of the construction of houses, as well as some surfboards made out of agave-based fiber. One of the main usage we have with this fiber is the production of sustainable agave-based straws that are biodegradable. I think the potential is there to make the most out of this, we could call it a natural waste in our process. The tequila industry generates around 1 million tons of spent agave fibers a year. And instead of considering that an agricultural waste, we see that as a main raw material to create biomaterials. The agave bio-based straw will take within one to five years to decompose into landfill conditions. And that is 200 times faster than regular plastic straws. It makes a lot of sense to start with an agave bio-based straw because of the industry and because it will be in the hands of our Jose Cuervo consumers. I think more and more Bartenders, business owners are starting to care more about what they put in the glass and how products are made and what companies stand for. Straws are a really great example of how bartenders, communities, our industry can take this concept of sustainability and turn it into something actionable today. It starts even with just the smallest stuff.